Hey viewers, what is up? I'm Liquid, and I just wanted to bring you a quick video of how to rank up quickly. So, this is actually an IMR gameplay from like, I think it was the first two days or whatever. However, I think it was like one of the few games that actually had a really decent KD in the game. I think it was like 18-2. So, yeah, this game obviously is a little bit di more difficult if you've already played it. If you haven't, well, you will learn this soon enough that you pretty much can be across the map and really no time. It is completely different than Ghost in just how you can move around the map. Uh, this gun, of course, is a four burst gun. It's one of the best guns um, as far as that I've seen. Uh, I personally like the HBR and the AK more. A lot of people like the BAL 27. The BAL 27 is really strong. Well, obviously, this is a ranking up video, not about the guns. However, whenever you're wanting to rank up quickly, you need good guns. So the ARs in this game are really strong. Definitely pick one up. Now, obviously, the game mode I'm playing right now, TDM, is not going to give you a lot of XP. I just wanted to give you something decent to watch while I was talking about this stuff. So, the best ways to rank up, and if you did not know this, then I'm actually on Big Foltz's team with Superior and a few other streamers. There's like seven of us. We're on the race to Master Prestige 24-7 live right now. Uh, so, with this said, we are actually on, I think, close to 11th, if we're not already 11th Prestige. I was on 10th last night with them. So, you can always check that out. Uh, if you want that, you can always tweet me up, and I'll hit you up with the links and all that good stuff. However, with this said, we know how to rank up. We've been doing it day in and day out since release night. And I think the best way to do it is Hardpoint. Hardpoint is one of the game modes that... The nice thing is they changed it up from Black Ops 2. It used to be if you jump on the Hardpoint late, or the first one to do it, you were the one that got the points. So there's 150 points you get for jumping on the base. Well, now it's whoever's on the base, whenever the base activates, you get the points. Or whoever is the first one on it, of course, after the enemies had it and all that good stuff. Well, 150 points adds up whenever, you know, you're dropping 15 to 20 to some caps. I'm not saying go base diving, destroy your KD, but if you're wanting to rank up quickly, it definitely works. I've been dropping about average 5,000 to 8,200 uh, score in the game, which is getting me... Without double XP, like 13 to 20 some thousand XP. With double XP, it was dropping about 20 to 50 some thousand. I mean, I was dropping a lot of points. Uh, along with kills, of course. If you're getting kills around the base, you're getting 50 points. If you're on the base while you're getting kills, that's 125 points. So it's one of those things that's really awarding the people that's on the base playing the objective. If you want to rank up, that's one of the best ways. Now, talking about the double XP. Of course, day zero, you already missed out on that. They gave you double XP. Actually, I had it for 48 hours since I had the game early. They get, they started it all on Sunday. And actually, it went a little bit more than 48 hours. I mean, it went, I think, 36 hours for the people that had the game in the U.S. So, it gave you a little bit extra time. Now, there's also other ways to get it. You always can go and buy Mountain Dew codes, Dorito codes. And you can see those matched, um, right? Matched, huh? Marked right on the side of the box, they say. Uh, Call of Duty, gear up for battle, whatever, something like that. You can go and get codes from Walmart and all that kind of stuff. So check that out. You can always check out the Mountain Dew website. I'm sure you've seen commercials if you've been watching Twitch. Twitch has been spamming the crap out of that ad. Which, it's a good thing because if you did not know about it, this year they're doing it again. They've done it every year almost. I think, I'm not sure if they did it for Ghost. I know they definitely did it for Black Ops 2 and for MW3. So that was one of those things that Mountain Dew did. If you're in the UK, I think they're doing Monster Energy Drink codes. So it just depends on where you're at and who's doing what. So just go check out, like, you know, where, where you're located, obviously, and what kind of codes they're doing. So, um, I know a lot of other people that's been doing S&D. The only problem I have with S&D is you have to do well. If you're not, like, the S&D, like, I guess, monster, like, dropping 10, 12 plus kills every single game, you're not going to see a lot of XP. So, I would say you can actually be really, really bad at killing people and be capping flags and everything else during hardpoint and actually do well. Momentum's another fun game mode. I'm going to actually be dropping some videos on that as well. It's from War from World at War. That game mode is really fun. I have a feeling though it's going to be a full party uh, spawn trapping map type thing. That's kind of how I feel because it's the only game mode that really truly has true spawns. Now of course that's until we find out how to f control spawns a little bit better on all these maps. I mean it's still week one and we're still trying to get our 
you know, ideas of how we're playing some of these maps. So we'll have all those things. But as soon as I start figuring out some of that stuff, I'll of course post videos. I'm actually slacking. I got the game early to make videos. And yeah, I've been lost in the game. It actually took me a little bit of time to really find what I wanted to do. And I've always made a how to rank up faster video. So hopefully it helps you out. Um, you can always come check us out on the live stream. I have my personal live stream, and then I've been streaming also on Big Foltz's channel. I'll post both of those in the description. Come up, um, check us out, and if you have any questions, you always can tweet me up. I do check Twitter a lot more than I check the YouTube comments just because I need to get back into the YouTube world, but I have not been doing nearly as many videos as I used to. So it's hard to get in the groove. Once I get in the groove and I start getting videos and videos and videos and videos, it's going to be a lot better. So, yeah, look out for those. It's just a matter of me getting to them. Anyways, viewers, hopefully this helps you out rank up. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay. The IMR, definitely, it's fun to use. It, it, it's all depending on what game mode and what map you're playing. If you're playing hardpoint or something fast-paced or objective-based, pull out a SMG or pull out a HBR or a bow. That's my best suggestion for you. And, um, you know, obviously get used to the exo movements. And I'll come out with a video for those guys that's struggling with this game to help them out as well. Anyways, viewers, until next time, I'm Liquid, and happy ranking up to y'all. Take it easy, guys.